I just finished putting in the new motherboard made by MSI. Uh, this is the Ace Meg model, as you can see over there. Uh, I believe parts of this board has RGB where it glows. For me, it's not really much of a big deal. I got it because of the quality and uh, the prices have gone down on hardware. So, to be honest with you guys, before buying any GPU, if you haven't upgraded like in two or three generations, I would just wait for the newest uh, Gen 5. And if you're waiting for the 4090 or the 4080, I would wait because uh, Generation 4, having it 4090 on a Gen 4 board, the speed is going to go down with the bandwidth. So it is probably recommended for people that have not upgraded in a long time to just hold off and get the 4090 if that's what they really want. But for people that are using Generation 4 motherboards, such as this one, and this is an i9 11 Gen, you could probably put a 4090 in here, but you're not going to get the bandwidth of what the 4090 Ti is supposed to get. So just so that you guys know, you guys might be disappointed when the 4090 Ti comes out, because if you plan to put it in a 9.9 machine with a Generation 4 motherboard, it ain't going to be good. It's going to be a lot better if you get a Gen 5 motherboard with DDR5. So a lot of people are getting confused as to why I say, as to my previous video, is just stick to a 30 series video card for your needs. There's no need to wait for a 4090 Ti if you're planning to put uh, that type of card in an i5 or in an i7 machine. Okay, that the newest video card, 40 series video card, is meant for a Generation 5 motherboard, not for a Gen 4. So people don't understand that. So I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, save your money. And if you really want a 4090 because you think you really need it, save your money for a better CPU and a Generation 5 motherboard. So this way you can take advantage of the speed of the 4090. Okay, you don't need, to, it doesn't make sense to go buy 4090 and putting it in a generation 4 motherboard or even a generation 3. Okay, it just totally doesn't make any sense because the speed of that 4090 will be downgraded to gen 4 speeds or gen 3 speeds. So you're not really taking advantage of the card. So anyways guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I spoke to my guy today and he basically is telling me that uh, a lot of people are going to get screwed. And they're all going to need new PSUs, the ones that are waiting for the 40 series video card. And a lot of people won't even be able to run it because a lot of people are thinking to put it in an i5 system or an i7, which is not going to make much sense. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and have a good day.